uh, may, may be facing, where we are talking about the possibility of shares being issued at par, the possibility of the shares being issued at a premium, and the possibility that the shares may be issued at a discount. Now, issuing shares, issuing shares at par, issuing shares at par. Now, to determine whether they are being issued at par or at, um, at a discount or at a premium, we shall be looking at the consideration that the company is receiving from the applicant against the nominal value. So that we shall be saying that if the consideration, if the consideration, if the consideration received, if the consideration received by the company is equal is equal is equal to the nominal is equal to the nominal is equal to the nominal value of the share is equal to the nominal value of the share the issue the issue is at par the issue is at par what we also refer to as the par value of the share so what was our nominal value 10 what was the consideration we received for these shares? 10. Then that's an issue at par. That the company has issued its shares at par when the value, when the consideration they receive from the applicant is equivalent to the nominal value of the share. Now let's look at the other possibilities. Issuing shares at a premium. Issuing shares at a premium, issuing shares at a premium, issuing shares at a premium. Again, we are saying that uh, if the consideration, if the consideration, the company, if the consideration the company receives, if the consideration the company receives exceeds or is more than exceeds the nominal exceeds the nominal value of the share exceeds the nominal value of the share the issue the issue is at a premium the issue is at a premium so again we are comparing the consideration we are receiving from the applicants against the nominal value of the share so we are saying the nominal value is 10 for easy mathematics and we are receiving a 15 consideration from these applicants where we are saying 15 is greater than the nominal value of the share so that we say we have issued these shares at a premium of five there is a premium of five that the consideration exceeds the nominal value by five which is the premium at which these shares have been uh, issued at now, the Companies Act 2015 requires that once we have issued shares at a premium, then the company should create, the company should create the creation of a share, a share premium, a share premium account, a share premium account. It is in this account, the share premium account, that this value of the premiums is posted or recorded. It is in a bit to show the distinction between the nominal value and any excesses that we have received in consideration. So that excess, the premium, then it has to be posted in a separate uh, account, which is known as the share premium account. Now, this account has some specific uses. Uses of the premium now, what are the various uses that this company could put their premium into? Now, part of what could be done with this premium, it could be used to write off, to write off preliminary, to write off preliminary expenses that may have been incurred during the formation of this company. The premium account could also be applied to meet uh, any discounts any discounts given in the issue in the issue of shares so if we do any issuing of shares at a discount then that premium could be used to meet that discount it could also be used to uh, facilitate the payment 
payment for an issue, an issue of bonus bonus shares so if we do a bonus issue of shares then because in the bonus we receive no direct consideration from the uh, from from the shareholders then that premium could be capitalized and used in the in covering the bonus then we could also use this to pay premiums payment of premiums payment of premiums or commissions and not or payment of premiums and commissions during during redemption during redemption of preference during the redemption of preference shares during the redemption of preference shares so these are the specific uses into which the share premium account can be put into the specific uses that we shall be putting the share premium account into then lastly let's look at issuing of shares at a discount The issue will be considered at a discount if the consideration, if the consideration received, if the consideration received for the shares is less than the nominal, is less than the nominal value, than the nominal value of the shares is less than the nominal value of the shares. So we are receiving less from the applicants than the nominal value of the share, then the issuing of the shares is considered to be an issue at a discount. Now we must state this that issuing of shares at a discount is generally prohibited. It is not the usual way of issuing shares, such that there will be very stringent conditions that are placed on companies that have to make an issue of shares at a discount. So it is an unusual way. It is not the common way of issuing shares. It is a prohibited method that there will be very stringent conditions that these companies have to meet. For instance, conditions, conditions for discount issue, conditions for a discount issue. One, it is required that the shares, the shares must belong the shares must belong to a class. The shares must belong to a class already issued, must belong to a class already issued by the company. So this is not a new class of shares that we are creating. It must be a class of shares, a category of shares that already exists in the company. Then there must be the approval, approval of members there must be the approval of members that members must be voting to permit the company's board of directors to proceed on to receive less than the nominal value of the shares that they are issuing then we also have a requirement that the members the members or rather the discount the discount must not must not exceed the discount must not exceed the maximum must not exceed the maximum prescribed prescribed by the members must not exceed the maximum prescribed by the members so the members in doing the approval they would also be specifying what is the maximum discount that we can allow so if they specify a discount of 5%, then the issue must be within that uh, discount permitted. Then there is also an approval, approval by the court, an approval by the court. So the, this company will be making an application to the court so that the court hears any objections that there may be to the issuing of these shares at a discount. So if no objections are made, then the court shall be allowing the issue of shares at a discount then finally we are saying that the issue must 
be effected, the issue must be effected within a month. Must be effected within a month of the court's approval. Must be effected within a month of the court's approval. So, dear class, that will bring us to the end of our first lesson in this topic, where, if you recall, we have looked at uh, these issues where we have defined a share. We have also looked at the various common categories of classes of shares that companies can issue. We have also described the allotment of shares, and we have seen the three versions this allotment may take, or, or uh, the issuing of shares may take, where we have shares being issued at par, where we receive an equal amount to the nominal value, issuing at a premium where we are receiving more than the nominal value of the shares and issuing at a discount where we are receiving less than the nominal value of the shares. So thank you very much.